Hey guys, Ryan Jensen, Bob Hurley RV. Today we're looking at the 2022 East to West Alta 3150 KBH. Again, 3150 KBH travel trailer. This is actually a new line out here at Bob Hurley RV. I'm very excited to show you a few things. These are a top notch quality unit here that we've got out here. So let's get right to it. Let me show you a few things about these guys. Number one, they do have an extended climate control, which means every single tank on here is covered. So you've got a legitimate Four Seasons coach here. Um, you've got power jacks, fiberglass all the way around, fiberglass front cab, nice painted front fiberglass front cab. This unit's actually got a really nice outdoor kitchen that we'll show you here as well, but TV, refrigerator, grill outside in the kitchen. Great floor plan, so let me show you, few, show you a few things here. Number one, we are gonna slide out. There are two slides on board on this camper. We're in the living room here where a super slide is. Over here in the kitchen, first off, let's start with this residential refrigerator. Don't see many of these in travel trailers, and when you do see them, you see them in the top, top, top of the line trailers. Um, so that's the nice big, that's a big, a 10 foot, 10 foot seven cubic foot refrigerator there. What I like about these is there's an inverter on board. It will keep this thing cool down, going down the road, and it only takes about an hour to cool down. So compared to the older LP systems, it's more space, it's more uh, effective, and it only takes about an hour to cool down. So that's a really nice uh, option to have. Um, coming back here to the kitchen, notice there's a, quite a bit of storage in here. I'm gonna open this up here so you can see all this, but this is actually pretty deep storage, and it actually goes all the way around the kitchen here as well. So pretty good amount of storage there, pretty good amount of countertop space. Um, upgraded faucet there with the handle. Um, nice three burner stove top with the glass covering. You got five burners actually there. One of those is for the oven, obviously three burners and then one's the light. So um, nice option there as well. Um, all of your drawers are fully extension drawers. Notice they're the metal glides there and notice this is plywood. This is not particle board. Particle board is the stuff that gets wet. This is not it. So uh, speaking of plywood, your floor on this is actually made of plywood. You know, a lot of campers um, these days have particle board in that floor. So when any, any water hits it, anything touches it, it disappears. However, there is a plywood floor built into this camper. So there's a ton of quality in that floor. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable going down the road with plywood in the floor. Um, to my left here, you do have a, I call this the Chick-fil-A booth, but it is your general generic booth. Uh, it is a, a couple things I like about it though, is it's a fully removable table. So you can take that table out, use it with the outdoor kitchen if you want to. You do also have the extended built-in drawers there, also plywood sidewalls on those. I like that, I wish every camper had those. That's a nice feature. So let's move back here to the bunkhouse real quick. Notice your thermostat here on the wall, that Furion, nice and looks really good. Everything these guys do is pretty state-of-the-art here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. As we're walking in here, notice we've got the farm sliding door. I like these because it makes this entrance more wide. It's easier to get in and out of the bathroom and there's not a door flying open somewhere interfering with another door. So. Nice big corner shower. You see a lot of these in like the Cougar lines, but that's the nice high-end glass shower. Pretty good sized bathroom here. And when I point out your extra entrance, that's a big deal. A lot of people want that entrance so that when you're, when you're outside, you can step right in the bathroom here and step right out without having to go through the whole camper. So that's a great thing to have. Let's step back to the bunkhouse real quick. So again, this is a two slide unit. So we've got an additional slide back here that creates all this additional space. Um, this is one of my favorite layouts because you've got this bed on top. You've got a nice couch here that faces an entertainment center and the bunk. And then this is an additional bunk. Easy slide down and up right here. And there is your third sleeping option. So that's a full pull out couch with two additional bunks. You can sleep three to four back here pretty comfortably. You also have some storage on both sides of the, of the bed. That's just additional. And then you've also got obviously some storage there all the way up and down there as well. Um, big thing in here also notice the second air conditioner. This is a 50 amp camper, two ACs fully ducted air conditioning systems. A lot of these campers will have, this is actually a ducted unit, but a lot of these will have just a single solitary unit that will only cool this room, but this actually helps uh, the, the functionality of the whole camper being cool. Let's head back over to the living room real quick. I'll show you a few more things here and we will uh, be on our way. Um, I really like this setup. This is very popular right now. This theater seats directly facing toward the TV. Everybody wants this in a bunkhouse. You know, they're like, hey, how can I get the theater seat and the nice living room and straight across from the TV and still have the bunks? Well, this is how they do it. Actual theater seats recline facing that TV. It's a Furion, nice big uh, built-in speaker as well. And then, uh, you know, in here you got cup holders, 
an extra little spot for remotes, phones, wallets, keys, etc. We've also got this closet here right as you walk in, right in or out the door. Notice it's a motion sensor closet, but that's huge. You know, storage for the kiddos or for you in there or just additional pantry storage. That's a nice big open pantry uh, hanging space or pantry right inside that door as you walk in. Notice this, I really like this. You've got two big, I'm actually gonna show you this because this is very unique, but I like this. You've got two big sliding doors. Um, notice you had a door on the other end too, so you've got privacy between the master bedroom and the bunkhouse, but really easy to get in and out of here. This is magnetic, so these are held together with a magnet there. You open it up and it's very easy to get in and out of this bedroom. So usually most of these, you're coming into a room and you're having to squeeze through to get into the bunk and the bedroom. And this is a nice big opening in here. Also notice back here, you've got this king bed, um, a very high demand item right now. Everybody wants the king bed, you know? So um, having a bunkhouse with a king is a nice feature. You've also got some really good storage options here. Notice that's really deep in there if you can see that. I'm gonna let you get a quick view into the into the side there, but nice, big, deep storage. It's not just kind of a looker there. It's actually very functional. And then you've got these drawers on both sides of the bed, two drawers on each side. You also have USB outlets and power outlets, and you also have like a small ledge that's kind of hidden back there in the back corners as well. So a ton of functionality here in this bedroom. I really like what they did here. This is not just a plain Jane bedroom. There's a lot of, of things to like in here. So. Again, we are in the 2022 East to West Alta 3150 KBH. It's a brand new line at Bob Hurley RV. Come check it out today, 918-947-8800. Come out and see us.